Hey everybody, special thanks to our sponsor, Kinetic Impact Airsoft, and their upcoming event, Corporate Wars Blood Money 2. It's going to be at D14 Airsoft to Sanger, Texas, April 14th, 2024. If you use the link in the description below and code MUDDY down there, you will get $5 off your ticket every time you use the code, and every time someone purchases a ticket, it does go to help the channel, which is going to be awesome, beneficial for me, and Kinetic Impact also helps you to get a discount for the event. If you like the idea of a milsim light event if you're new to the milsim world and you're new to events and you don't want to do a 40-hour slog fence this is going to break you off definitely give these guys a look i think you're going to have a great time again use code muddy at the link below five dollars off now on to the review hey everybody welcome to another muddy reviews today we're actually reviewing these two long type taco style pouches here Got them off Amazon. They came in a two pack and they were called the Tiger Type Long magazine pouches. On the box, it gave you the colors they come in. Apparently, they come in matte black, Ranger Green, Coyote Brown, Wolf Gray, Multicam, and Multicam Black. That was kind of cool. They weren't very expensive. I'll put up, or my editor will put up a um, little picture of the Amazon sale for these and you'll see exactly where I purchased them for what they look like. So, these are the pouches. This is the two taco-ish pouches um the color is actually really good um the ranger green is quite good the cordage is shit as most of these fake tacos the cordage is kind of trash i will probably be switching the cordage out to either black to fit the rest of the aesthetic on this or just to a better ranger green one eighth inch shot cord at a later date the retention is not horrible as you can see by these two aeg mp5 magazines they have these really funky malice clips on the back. I'm not sure if these are replicas of any newer style clip I'm not aware of. Let's see if I can get this. Well, you know what? I'm just going to open the cover button because I don't want to take these off because they were kind of a pill to put on. And it is set up already. As you can see, these are the clips back here. You kind of pop them off like that and then push this down here to push them back through themselves right there. They're kind of a pain in the nuts to work with a little bit. Once you get them on, they're not coming off. They're really on there. I just don't feel like unmalling it because they're set up already. I know it's a shitty reviewer. Sorry, guys. The plastic that's used for the sides of the actual taco portion, kind of flimsy, but it's not the worst I've ever felt in a fake taco, not even by a long shot. So that is kind of nice. They are riveted at the bottom here and here, like a lot of other tacos. And then internally, we have just some hat cloth material that is inside of it. A lot of times you'll have, if I remember correctly, in most tacos, you have like a, a loop, hook and loop in there, help with some retention. They don't have that in these, but I don't feel any issues in the retention whatsoever. Once I got these in there, they were not going to come out on me. Uh, they feel pretty good. At the bottom, we do have a small barrel lock in order to kind of help with the retention and tighten it up. So I've already tightened that a little more to help with the retention and it's doing exactly what I want it to do and it's fine. So indexing and re-indexing can be a little bit of a pain in the ass with these. They can get a little hung up. And I notice when I tighten that up, it keeps the mouse open just a little bit. I can fight with them a little bit. I've had the same problem with actual HSGI tacos in the past. So I don't see that being necessarily a problem with this specific replica pouch so much as is a problem with the design of the taco itself. I am super curious to know if these will work with Hugo Industries pistol feed lips. So I do plan on grabbing some Hugo pistol feed lips for these because I've used Hugo feed lips on rifle tacos in the past to very to great success. I really liked them and great success. Um, they're fantastic accessories to tacos. Overall, as you can see here, the Ranger Green does look fantastic. This is a real Ferro Concepts carrier with a real Ranger Green. Looks really good on it. Real axle shoulder pads up here and Ranger, real Ranger Green. It kind of matches. This is a Repro Pew Tactical MP5 placard. Still very close. This is a real Eagle Industries. Still very close. So the color is extremely good. I don't have a lot of bad things to say about these. I mean... Other than the normal negative things I would have to say about any taco pouch, whereas indexing or reindexing could be kind of a pill. I don't necessarily care for these 
clips they have. I might switch those out for a different clip in the in the future. Might swap them out. They're not terrible. They're just not the best. And again, indexing and re-indexing can be kind of a pain, but I'm, I'm doing it constantly in this video, so if you've been seeing, and it's been fine. So I'm proving myself to be a liar right now. I'm like, hey, look, this re-indexing's a pain as I do it over and over again with no issues. Definitely cool pouch. Kind of a nice little addition to my rig. I was worried the long pouches would be kind of uncomfortable to run. They weren't, and I was worried the quality was going to be subpar. Uh, I needed them for the game. Uh, that's why I grabbed these. I needed them quickly. I needed them in a few days. I got these off Amazon. I got them in like two days. Again, here's the box. That's the main reason I didn't go with real HSGIs. I just didn't have the time to grab the real HSGIs. I just needed a, I needed a solution, and I needed it quickly. So I went ahead and got on the good old Amazons, and I found these. Kind of glad I did. They're pretty cool. They're definitely worth checking out. So if you're on a budget and you want something for MP5 or um, AMP9, extended Glock magazines, whatever you're running, and you want taco functionality and the taco look, but you really don't have taco money, get these a look. They might actually work out for you. I don't know how these are going to hold up for longevity. Like I said, I just got them recently. I did run them all weekend, though, over Veterans Day weekend. I ran them both days. And they worked flawlessly. They ex they did exactly what I wanted them to do. I did not use them as speed reload pouches. I was mainly using them to backfill the placard. So I would mainly load from here and then as necessary, pull from these and then reload from here to pull again later. Because I'm running them on my, my strong side, not my weak side. And that's mainly to keep my holster side clear. Because I'm kind of goofy. I'm right, right and left. It's really awkward. Anyway, uh, that's all I got, guys. Hope you got something out of this review. I hope you may have seen a new product you weren't aware of. And if you were already aware of it and you weren't sure if they were decent, I hope maybe you saw these and you kind of were like, okay, maybe these are good. Because I think they're good. I think they're good enough for government work. I, I think they're good enough for Airsoft. And I think I have high hopes they're going to hold up. The stitching is good and the basic quality is good. Like I said, the only thing at the beginning, the only thing I might consider changing is uh, un unweaving them and removing the shot cord. It's very shiny and it's not the best. The elasticity is kind of eh. I might re-cord them with either good quality black cordage or a good quality green cordage. But other than that, I think they're fantastic. Uh, oh, and I might change the clips out. Uh, but again, that's just a personal preference thing. Anyway, that's all I got, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. As always, thanks for watching. Get out there, guys. Make some cool kits. Try out different stuff. Smarter, not harder. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the field. Peace.